So the beginning of a weekend at home for women's soccer coming off an exciting win on the road at Radford. And Adam Sayers liking what he sees early. Jenna Connell able to get in at the box and score in the second minute to give the Lady Bucks an early lead. Now a little bit later on in the first half, 15 minutes later to be exact, Longwood would answer with a goal of their own to equalize it at one. Sayers trying to draw up a plan. They'll look for Caudle again later on in the first half, and she is able to get around Katie Devlin, team captain there for Longwood. And then the second half, it's Ramey Kearns who subbed into this one and was all over the near touchline to try to get some looks at goal. Another one there snared out of the air by Kira Byron and then just outside the 18. That one's just a little bit too high over the box. And one last chance here for Kearns as she chips it in, but unable to get in was, I think, Jenna Peterson was who it was intended for. So they'll go to overtime in the extra frame. Nothing doing in the first one, but this is in double overtime. How about the free kick just bounds right on in there? Jessica Hildenbrand doesn't even need any assistance from the Lady Bucks in the box as she puts home the game winner. First win of the year at Summers Taylor for the Lady Bucks and the first win of Adam Sayers' career here at home for ETSU. 2-1 to one, the final outshot the Lancers 15-13. to 13. From Summers Taylor Stadium, I'm John Stevens.